now let's write the attachment for AHB top so let's declare the AHB top signals drag H reset N and we have reg enable and reg 32 bit that is 31 down to 0 data underscore in underscore e reg 31 down to 0 data underscore in underscore b reg write and reg and reg 1 down to 0 slave underscore select so these are the inputs for our AHB top module and we have an output wire 31 down to 0 that is 32 bit data underscore out. So within initial begin and block we are let's initialize our inputs h clock equal to 0 h reset n is equal to 1 and enable is equal to 0 and data underscore in underscore a will be equal to 32 tick binary 32 tick decimal 0 32 tick decimal 0 and data underscore in underscore b will be equal to 32 tick decimal 0 and write will be equal to binary 0 and slave underscore select will be equal to 0 so after 10 nanoseconds after 10 time units h reset n will make it as 0 and after say 10 time units let's say we will make this reset equal to 1 okay this is our initialization of inputs next we will write a task for resetting reset underscore dot begin great neg edge of clock neg edge of h clock h reset n will be equal to 1 and again at the rate neg edge of h clock reset h reset n will be equal to actually uh, 0 actually it should be 1 here it should be 0 ending this and ending the task and here we will generate the clock also so always let's say our clock time period is 10 time units so we'll take always hash phi h clock is equal to not of h clock so it will be of 10 time units and now i'll write a task for writing to the design write underscore dot input will be select and another input will be 32 bit date uh, address underscore input and another input will be 32 bit that is 31 down to 0 e and another is input 31 down to 0 b so yeah we have this write task begin so at the rate the gauge of clock we are making we are assigning slave select which will be equal to select and we will make enable is equal to 1 and 
address will be equal to address let's go input simply i will use address and another gauge of clock i will drive the inputs that is data underscore in underscore a will be equal to a data underscore in underscore b will be equal to b and write equal to one and at another edge of clock i will make enable equal to zero so this is right task i'm ending this task sorry it is h clock it is right i have declared it as right so yeah next uh, yeah, i'm using a read task for reading the inputs read underscore dot input one down to zero select and input 31 down to 0 address I'm beginning this task here at negage of clock we will make enable equal to 1 and slave underscore select will be equal to select and address will be equal to address And at the edge of clock, we will make write equal to 0. And so at first edge of clock, we will make write equal to 0. And at second clock edge also, I will make write equal to 0. And at third clock edge also, I will make write equal to 0 and i will make enable is equal to zero ending this and ending the task yeah now within initial begin and block we'll call this right we'll take slave as to tick binary zero zero in right we have arguments as select so first select a slave zero so for slave zero it is to tick binary zero zero so first time considering slave first slave so slave select will be zero zero and address will be address i'm giving as one and data and data in underscore a i'm giving as some data and data in underscore b will be another data and i'm reading this the slave select will be zero zero and address will be given as well next for actually it is write underscore dot and read underscore dot and for slave 2 similarly for slave 2 write underscore dot to tick binary 0 1 32 decimal the address I will give as 2 and data some random data 11 and data in underscore b will be some random data 13 minus 0 1 and address will be same similarly for slave 3 I will copy this and it is 32 decimal 2 for slave 3 select will be 10 and address will be 3 and data will be some random data and for slave 4 
will be 11 one and address will be 4 and data will be some random data so it is 1 0 and it is 3 is 4 and 1 so yeah for the four slaves I have written I am writing and reading the data now let's instantiate it with the design let's end this So yeah, this is our TB for top model. Let's analyze our waveform. Here, in this waveform, I have not given any value of H-burst or H-trans or any other signals. I am just verifying that my master and slave are communicating or not. So here we can see, initially reset was high and it is low. So all the signals will be reset it, as it is a negative active low reset so here enable is equal to 0 for few cycles and it is becoming 1 and data in A will be equal to 0, 0, 001 and data in B will be equal to 0, 0, 002 and my address is 1 and write is equal to 0 since no write operation is taking place and write is equal to 1 so write operation will take place from here to here so slave select will is 0 which means first slave is being selected and hw data here we can see on the right data bus we can see data in a and data in b are adding up and we are getting 3 in the hw data and since write is equal to 1 so write operation is taking place and h ready out is equal to 0 here so h ready out is equal to 0 so no slave is ready for any transfer and h ready out is equal to 1 so slave is ready for transfer but we are not getting hr data since write is equal to 1 so no read operation will take place as write is equal to 0 here we can see h ready out is 0 so no write operation will take no read operation will take place and so still hr data is equal to 0 only here h ready out is equal to 1 so read operation will take place and we can see on hr data 3 is appearing next the data in will be data in a will be equal to 3 and data in b will be equal to 4 and address is given as 2 and write is equal to 1 so write operation will take place and slave select is equal to 1 slow so second slave is selected and on the right hw data bus that is right data bus we can see the two data is being added and output is 7 is being reflected but h ready out is equal to 0 so h ready out is equal to 0 so no data will be available on hr data and 
and so h radio out is equal to zero so no data is available on hr data bus and when write is equal to zero but h radio out is still zero so no read operation is taking place uh, and when h radio out is equal to one so the read operation takes place and seven is reflected on the hr data bus so this is a basic transfer of data from master to slave.